Hello and welcome to the best of the Battlefield top plays. In this episode, we have tons of clips from the previous 12 months, both from Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 1. I've decided not to include BF5 clips because that game's only recently come out and we've been hitting that hard on the top plays already. So it'll be nice to revisit some of the best in Battlefield moments that we've had from the other games. Starting us off is the Shadow HQ on Battlefield 4. Silk Road. Now this is one of my favourite clips of the year. Diving onto the bomber out of his jet, he's going to be getting a long range shot on a chasing scout helicopter. Pretty cool stuff. Black Scorpion 87 is next and he's using the SV-98 on a game of rush. This clip was included fairly recently, a couple of months ago I believe. An awesome objective play as he pushes towards the objectives as an attacker at the first set of MCOMs. Black Scorpion also had a really, really satisfying LMG streak on Operation Locker. This one had an awesome M67 grenade in it. Check out how many kills he got with that grenade as he launched it towards the camping enemies. A really nice push. So many enemies taken out with a mixture of his grenade and of course this MG4. Now moving on to Father Time, he's playing on Metro. This was one of my favourite clips a couple of episodes ago as he peeks a corner and takes down a load of camping enemy players. Next up we have Infizer. This guy has sent in so many clips over the past year. This is probably my favourite one. I had to go for Operation Locker because of the amount of clips he sent in on that map. It would be a shame not to include one from it. Even though it's pretty popular as a map and is used a lot with top plays. I find as if Infizer's clips are always satisfying. Especially with the smoke and run MG4 tactic that he loves to employ. A really, really nice clipper. One of my favourite snipes of the year from Frog 26 playing on Gormwood Railway. A superb jet snipe. One of the best I've ever seen on the game. Just the lead was perfect. The fact it was his only shot as well. A great clip. Scope of 49 sent in quite a few nice clips. This one's again on Operation Locker with the 870 MCS. Just a super quick kill streak. Mega accurate. Loads of enemies in a short space of time. Exactly what I like to see on the top plays. Zim sent in a really nice attack helicopter clip, but not with a load of kills. Instead, look how many AA mines were up here. I posted this on Twitter. I thought it was worth including one of the most epic, evasive clips I've seen from 2018. In fact, I believe there were over 10 lock-ons in that little clip there. Hitmix Hypoc has sent in this awesome clip where he takes out a pilot with his 44 Magnum. Nothing else like it on the top plays this year. Another clip that I posted on Twitter by Nadud. I really enjoyed this. A lot of people said, well, it's spotting and it's Operation Metro, so it doesn't really count. But I thought it was absolutely epic as he pushes through the smoke with his AEK and gets a massive spray down through the doorway with one magazine. Next up, we have Fluffy Mix with the 44 Magnum on Operation Locker. Check out the accuracy that this guy has on Battlefield 4. Now 
Mr. Avenger sent in some epic clips over the course of the past 12 months. This was my favourite, the long range small shot on Silk Road on that enemy jet. A Podzook by Toxie really caught my eye in 2018. This one was a long range RPG shot as he's flying through the air. Really cinematic. Awesome luck, awesome accuracy. If you can count it, I think he was going for the first one, but either way, an epic clip. Etix was next with a really satisfying flank on BF4, Operation Locker. I'll let it play. None other than the sniping god himself, Big E. He sent in so many clips in 2018. This was my favourite, a five-man at 850 metres. Absolutely incredible stuff. Looks like there's AT personnel operating west of the pod. We've just neutralised objective Alpha. Un Jong Kim sent in a load of clips as well. This was my favourite one, the long range snipe on Goldwood Railway. This one was incredible. 1700 metres, this one. And he got the headshot. First time, absolutely bang on accurate on that camera in the distance. John Funnel did send a clip in a couple of months ago. Now, this one was really underrated, I believe, at the time because a lot of people didn't know what was actually happening here. He has j the pilot, out of that plane that was pursuing him. He didn't take down the plane because I believe it was a headshot with the j on the pilot, which means you shoot the pilot out instead of killing the whole plane. A really, really awesome clip, though. And an only a battlefield moment follows as he takes down a cruise missile with the primary cannon. Just a few BF4 clips left before we get onto Battlefield 3. This one is an awesome clip sent in from Panic O. He's playing on Hainan Resort in the attack jet, pursuing this stealth jet, takes him down. Then, instead of shooting that JDAM with his primary, he takes it out with a JDAM. Daskos also sent in a fantastic clip on Dragon Valley. This one was one of my favourites, if not my favourite clip when it comes to trick shots, rendezvous king, rodeo zoo king, whatever you want to call it. Just cinematic, accurate, fast paced, the whole lot. He also sent in one of the craziest lav clips that I've ever seen on the top plays. Check this out. Sam 300 Foxes sent in another jet clip. This one was on Silk Road, and if you remember, he pulls off something very special against this enemy pilot. He's pursuing him, and instead of just simply taking him out, he instead waits for him to bail, road kills him, and then steals his plane. Oh my gosh, dude. I just did the coolest thing I've ever done. It's just the LAB to deal with. Dude, you have no idea. So Bello sent in a very satisfying infantry play with the AEK on Flood Zone. This one was a great clip just because of the way the enemies were positioned all in front of him. He had pretty much the entire team to take down on this game of domination. He pushes through and takes them all out with some great accuracy. Then he moves on to his secondary weapon and again doesn't waste many rounds at all as he removes the rest of the enemy presence from this section of the map. A really good clip. AP Thug 
was rocking c4 against these enemy players. This one came out a few months ago. It was the headline clip in the episode. It did really well, actually, because I think the thumbnail got people hooked in. So many kills with that initial bit of c4. A truly only in Battlefield moment. Tricky Troll is next up, and he pulled off a great snipe on a parachuter. Really cool stuff as he jumps out, scopes in, snipes the guy with a headshot, and then collects his jet on the way back down. The final BF4 clip I want to showcase in today's episode is from Sergeant Sultan, playing on Hainam Resort, gets himself a bag of kills from enemies camping in the lift. Moving on to Battlefield 3, we've got a clip from Jesus. Again, I'm going to be showing all of my favourite Battlefield 3 clips from the year. If you've made it this far through the episode, then congratulations. It is a long one, but it is a special edition. It's only going to be once a year I produce an episode like this. Jesus is probably the best long-range tanker I've seen in Battlefield 3. There are some great ones out there, but he's just so consistent. He pulls off loads of clips. He does send a lot of them in, and I try to showcase everything I can. This one was great. The range on that shot was just incredible. Dominator666 sent in a great clip with the stealth jet playing on Oman. He jumps out the top of it, gets his crossbow ready, and snipes that plane out of the sky. Dexter sent in a whole load of Battlefield 3 clips. As you know, it's his favourite game, I'd guess, and he's one of the best players on it. A double snipe on pilots and enemies in that scout chopper was really satisfying. He also sent in a selection of infantry clips, one on Metro. It just has to be, as he rips through the enemy team with his M240B. Avenger sent in a really awesome clip playing on Caspian border. He saves a teammate by sniping this TV missile out of the sky with a reaction shot. Really, really awesome stuff. Moriarty sent in a load of clips throughout the year. He's one of the best Battlefield 3 players when it comes to performing things that you just never thought were possible. Whether it's jumping out of jets and sniping people pursuing you, or TVing people out of the sky, this guy has it all in his locker. Enjoy four of my favourite clips that he sent in this year. Scream is one of those players that always has a clip to send in to me. I have so many clips of his showcased on my channel and quite a few that I just couldn't get into episodes because he'd send in so many of them. I've included two in today's episode. The first one is with the PKP Pechenegg on Operation Metro. This one was a pure Battlefield Rambo moment. He actually takes down more players than I can count in this clip and I really struggled to work it out. There are a lot taken down in this flank before he eventually gets gunned down by the enemy team. I'm sure they're happy to see him return to the spawn screen. The second one is an awesome flank. Again, this one's with the M249 and is just absolutely insane. Enter sent in one of the best sniping clips on BF3 that I think I've seen. This one was incredible because not only is he just taking down players with accurate sniping close by, he also pulls off a godly shot on a jet pilot. Oh, 
Salam pulled off one of the best Battlefield Rambo clips that I've seen on BF3. Not the best quality, but you don't really need it. He's running around in smoke, can't see anything until half the enemy team appear in his crosshairs, and he just sprays all of them down. Jackalberry's going to wrap up the BF3 clips in today's episode. This is going to be on Grand Bazaar as he pushes towards parts of Bravo Objective in a really only in Battlefield moment. Rocking the Spaz 12 to start the clip off. He has so many players in front of him, for some reason they forget that he's an enemy. He picks up one of their weapons, the PKP Pechenegg, and then just mows them all down. A few grenades onto the objective just to get a few of those enemies out of the way. And he picks up one final weapon before getting involved, taking out the final guy, and arming the MCOM. Battlefield 1 might not be everybody's cup of tea, but for those of you that have stuck around, here are some of my favourite clips of the year. At number 1, I think everyone will agree, Virgil was pretty much nailing down the top spot when it came to epic sniping at range. He sent in around 10 clips that I showcased in an episode. I put most of them at the end, but this was one that definitely stood out and I had to give it its own spot on the best of the top plays 2018. Incredible accuracy and can only be beaten, possibly, by this clip from Enders as he takes out all of the occupants of this attack boat that is pushing towards his position. Again on Foul Fortress, a fantastic clip. Enders also sent in other clips. This one was on Giant Shadow. He's sniping again. He's pushing towards Bravo Objective that is getting capped by the enemy team. It doesn't really make too much difference to him how many enemies there are, though, because this guy is so accurate and so good at just pushing objectives, pushing enemies, and not missing a shot. Making use of his melee weapon and his obres, he gets everyone taken down before his teammates can even help. If that wasn't good enough, he also snipes the pilot out of a plane as well. Just an absolutely incredible clip. Get him out of here. Sniped him right out of there. A clip that I've showcased a couple of times, but it's got to be shown once more in 2018. Maxique pulls off a quad collapse on Amion. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just hit a quad. I just hit a quad. I just hit a quad. <gasps> Neon gets himself two planes for the price of one with an anti-tank grenade. This is an awesome clip. One of the best that I've seen with the anti-tank grenades against planes. And super satisfying to watch. Regiment's Führer sent in a clip, one of the first, where the airship, or the blimp, was taken down with a Calibri. We did get quite a few of these sent in, but I believe this was the first one that got sent into my show. Really awesome to see a behemoth, which I never really liked in BF1, getting embarrassed by the smallest and by far the weakest gun in the game. Next up, pretty much my favourite Battlefield 1 clip of the year, purely because of the reaction. Here's Metal Slug with Lord Obrez. Hit marker. Oh my god, go where the fucking hit marker is, dude. Lord Obrez! Lord Obrez! Lord Obrez! White man! Do what's that enough white man with the Obrez? One more, one more, one more. Come on, make us get that note. Oh my god, dude. Oh! 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 Everything he can get his hands on to get these camping enemies out of here. Very accurate throughout. 
just goes crazy. Pushes through, racks up a whole load of points, caps the objective, even the bayonet. I told you he used everything. And he just gets them all taken down. Amit had to be included in this episode. Unfortunately, I didn't include any of his BF4 clips. They are my favourite, but I had to include this BF1 clip because it's with the Madsen, a gun I love, a 17 kill streak on Suez, pushing through the trenches on Alpha Objective. I wonder what he does. Vintax sent in an assault clip on Argon Forest. He's using the SMG-08. I've tried to refrain from including any of these clips just because the SMG-08 was an overpowered gun. Everyone used it, and I had so many clips sent in from it. But this one was really nice. 15 players taken down in a very short space of time. Not all in the same streak, but most of them in the first streak, switching out to the Obres to get himself a couple of kills as well. An insane play. Scradwig had to be included. This one was a very successful episode on the channel. It was called the best lineup or the perfect lineup or something like that as he takes the M1907 SL sweeper and wipes a couple of enemy squads clean off the game. The final clip in today's episode is from Slorkzan. Playing on BF1, Amion. I can't even remember what episode this one was featured in. It might have just been on Twitter, but he drops a tripwire mine and picks up seven kills. Never seen that done before on BF1. Hopefully you enjoyed this bumper episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. I don't even know how many clips we've had. You could let me know your favourite clip if you managed to get to the end, but to be honest, they're all pretty epic. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me through 2018, and I'll catch you in the next episode.